Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be discussing useful tips which can help you become a better medic. I've spent a significant amount of time playing as a medic and I'll talk about the things I learned from my own experience and suggestions from the research I did on my own to improve. Some of these tips may seem very basic to a veteran player, but maybe everyone can pick up at least one useful thing from this video. And the reason I'm making this guide in the first place is to help myself and other people improve at a game we all like and hate at times. The first thing I'll talk about is smoke screens. So I've been playing a lot of break remote, which is my favorite right now, and a medic has been a solid choice whether attacking or defending objectives. The medic class can load out two smoke grenades and pick up three rounds of the smoke launcher rounds. So when attacking objectives this comes in very handy as you can block the enemy vision creating a path for yourself and your team to push through terrain, which helps to minimize the angles you're exposed to and deteriorate the ability of your opponent to counter your attack. Alternatively, you could use smoke screens to cover down the teammates when attempting to revive them. Do be careful when reviving your allies. Sometimes your enemy could read the play and take advantage of your plan to help a buddy up and either push you through smoke or kill you as your silhouette can be visible for smoke. To avoid this, you should scout for enemies, call out to your teammate to let them know you're coming to help, but not instantly. Take a moment to see if the enemy will push forward for the smoke, thinking they'll get a free kill jump on you. A general tip that every player should consider is, when you're down, you can use the spotting key to mark nearby enemies. If you see your teammates nearby, Instead of letting them run into a trap, spam the spotting key at the enemy camping near you or don't hold the call for help when surrounded by enemies, as you could be baiting friendlies into a suicide mission. The next thing which is applicable to any class would be movement and positioning. Whenever you're engaging into a firefight, you want to be in the right position to dictate the outcome of the engagement. In this clip, you can see me shoulder peeking and sidestepping while engaging enemies to expose as little of myself as I can to the enemy. The point of this is to scout where your enemy is or take as little damage as possible from the opponent. This will definitely improve your chances of survival and since you're mainly playing close quarters as a medic, always try to move while shooting the enemy who is taking you on face to face as it will increase the chance of your opponent missing vital shots, allowing you to win the encounter. Furthermore, staying in or around objectives is important to help your team control the key regions of the map. Therefore, you should find and use defensive positions to your advantage. Also, consider walking instead of always sprinting. This helps to limit the amount of noise you make and helps you slow the pace of the game down. If you're not rushing everywhere, you can scan your surroundings and using sound to help you locate enemies who are out of sight and predict where they will move. Something that I learned recently is sprint sliding. It can be very useful when going around corners or getting behind cover as it lowers your elevation and makes you a smaller target, which should save your life. This can be used to surprise your enemies, as players opt out to keep their crosshair at headshot level. You can gain an advantage on your opponent by appearing in front of them at an unexpected angle. This can be especially useful in close quarter combat, which Medic excels at, and you should always try to position yourself into the right type of engagements. Instead of trying to outshoot an assault or a snipe rifle at medium to long range. Of course, let's not forget that Medic class has long range carbines, but my advice concerns more SMG play style. Next up, when playing a support medic, you get the option of bandages or medical crates. Both can be useful, but I'm a firm believer in bandages, as I feel they bring more utility and mobility to your gameplay, and you're able to dish out more supplies to your allies than you could with a medical crate, which has a limited number of bandages your allies can pick up, and also enemies can use your supplies. And there is a cooldown for the usage of medical crates, it does have the benefit of healing nearby allies, 
I feel like bandages are a better option which can help to keep your teammates resupplied at a higher rate. My suggestion is to pay attention to the sign up of your allies, which lets you know when they require healing, and spam the bandage supply button to help them out. Staying alive longer and replenishing your teammates health can usually lead to a victory. I hope that you found some of these suggestions useful, and if you have any thoughts about how to improve as a medic, be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more gaming content, subscribe to my channel, as I upload a new video regularly with great quality content for you. Also, consider checking out some of my Battlefield 5 montages and other gaming walkthroughs on my channel. And now, as always, I wish you all a good day or night, wherever you may be.